Raider Nation, what's going on? Give me a just win, baby, in the comments section. I was in Oakland for the Raiders vs. Lions game. The Coliseum was absolutely rocking. The environment, incredible. So give me a just win, baby, in the comments section because we got a big-time win up against the Lions. Now, also, I want you guys to subscribe to the Raiders Report so you don't miss anything. We are 4-4 four and four looking for that playoff push, and I don't want to make sure that you guys don't miss a single thing all season long. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are at youtube.com slash Raiders Report. And I met a lot of people who watched the show and were like, Mitch, I am subscribed. But then when I asked them to do it, they weren't signed in. So all you got to do, sign in with your Google account to the Raiders Report on YouTube, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Okay, let's get into some Raiders news and rumors. You're watching the Raiders Report, the number one Raiders show on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm going to break down here some Raiders news and rumors. And the first one are the Oakland Raiders playoff contenders. This one is for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. And for anybody out there that disagrees with me, y'all can go you know what yourself. Because this Oakland Raiders team is playing actually pretty solid football. The defensive side, we'll get there in a little bit. But when you look from start to finish how this season's gone, week one against the Broncos, big time win. Week two versus the Chiefs, struggle a little bit. But considering the fact that we are a 500 team and it's the first half of the season and we didn't play a single game in Oakland from week three to week eight is mind-blowing. Then you got to look at the entire schedule. I mean, this was a really, really tough schedule. So here right now is the AFC playoff picture. The Cheatriots are sitting there at 8 and 1. They just got beat against the Ravens, who are 6 and 2, playing better football. Then you see the number three seed, the Texans. And hey, we all watched the game week eight. We think that we got ripped off, and I do too. And I think from start to finish, we outplayed the Houston team, and we should have had a win in that game. Number four seed, the Chiefs, right now leading the AFC West. And according to a guy that does a show here at Chat Sports, said they're already going to win the division. Harrison? I don't know about that. Then the number five seed, the Bills. Number six seed, Colts, who the Raiders beat straight up. Then you have the Steelers at 4-4 four four over the Raiders, okay? So right now, the Oakland Raiders are the 8th seed. But coming up in a few weeks, you got the Jags. We got to play the Titans. We play the Chargers on Thursday night football. Make sure you guys are just tuned in because uh, I'm going to be live for a watch party. And then we got to finish up again with the Broncos. The Oakland Raiders right now, hey, have a very, very legit chance to make the playoffs. And I've already put my money down on Bet DSI on the Raiders making the playoffs. Some people laughed at me at the beginning of the year. But you know what? I am here doing this show for Raider Nation, and I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and y'all should too. Go to Bet DSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. Now, the season, we're sitting here at 4-4. Four and four. Go put your money on the internet's number one site, BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code, though. All right, let's look at the next five weeks. This is it right here, okay? This is a big time for the Oakland Raiders to really show what they got. Week 10 versus the Chargers. Thursday night football. I'm going to be live for a watch party. Make sure you guys are tuned in with me. Week 11 versus the Bengals. That needs to be a win. Week 12 at the Jets. If we lose to the Jets in New York, I only know one team that's done that so far uh, this year. Wink, wink, Tom. Week 13 at the Chiefs. This is a game that we need to win. It's a tough game out of these five games. Probably our toughest game. And then week 14 versus the Titans, a team that we are completing, competing for for the playoff spot. So I already told you all that I went to bet the SI and put my money on the Raiders making the playoffs. How about this? Type playoffs in the comments section if you think the Oakland Raiders are going to the playoffs. If we would ask this question be first in the beginning of the year, I think a lot of people would have questioned if we were crazy or not. This team is so much different than last year. And the fact that we don't even have one of our first-round picks in Jonathan Abram, the fact that Cleveland Farrell is still trying to really find his way in, and then considering the fact that we have all the injuries that we've had on offense and on defense, plus FAB, the fact that we are legitimately a playoff-caliber team, I'm telling you all right now, you are watching a team in transition and it's going to be beautiful. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss anything. The only thing that's not pretty is, is the defense, right? I mean, the defense right now, when I hit 10K subscribers, I dyed my hair gray. And I'm wondering if I keep watching the defense, if my hair is just going to go gray. It's frustrating. And I think the Raiders need to kind of get out of this a little bit of zone and start playing a little bit more man. But when you look at points allowed, 26 in the league, pass, passing, we're dead last, right? I mean, passing, we're dead last. Now, you could say, well, we're doing really well on the run. I think teams right now are just passing so much against us because they know that they can. But then the plays of 20-plus yards, 43. That is dead last again. We need to limit the big plays. I will say our defense has been playing better once teams get into the red zone. 
but we are getting absolutely torched on the big plays. And I don't want to point the finger at just the secondary because that's not just their fault. The quarterbacks that we've been going up against have been getting all day. And when you have solid quarterback play in a league that's really, I'll say, benefits quarterbacks, you have to be able to get after the quarterback. So I'm not just looking at the secondary. I'm also going to point my finger a little bit at the defensive line. So if you watch the Green Bay game, Aaron Rodgers went absolutely bonkers. 429 yards, five pass touchdowns, and a rushing touchdown. In fact, it was a perfect quarterback rating of one. 158.3. Why is that a perfect score? I'm not quite sure. But then I had to watch Deshaun Watson. Really kind of turned him on late in the game up against Houston, who went for 279 yards, three touchdowns. And then this past week, up against Matthew Stafford. Now, Stafford's been playing a lot better. In fact, he's actually having a very quiet season now, up to 19 touchdowns on the year. But watching Aaron Rodgers shred us, watching Deshaun Watson shred us, and then watching Matthew Stafford go for 406 yards, sure he threw an interception, but the interception that he threw was actually an unbelievable pick by Daryl Worley. A one-handed pick. So all I'm saying is, I've sat here, I've watched quarterbacks kind of tear up the Raiders a little bit. And I think it's time for the Raiders to make a little bit of, bit of a move. So that's why the Raiders went out and tried out two safeties. But before I talk to you about the safeties, I want to welcome a new sponsor, BMW Santa Maria. BMW Santa Maria, man, really, really good dudes, and I want you guys to show them some love. So my man Matt over here on the left, we linked up week one of, uh, of Broncos versus Raiders Monday Night Football, and I got to hang out with the guys. They are big, big supporters of what we do at the Raiders Report, and I appreciate them for coming along for the ride. So I want you guys to show BMW Santa Maria some love. So all you got to do is type BMW in the comment section. I told Matt, I told Rudy that, hey, guys, Raider Nation, the love, they're going to show you some. So please don't let me down. Type BMW in the comments section. And if you haven't seen the car that I'm driving, it's definitely not a BMW. So, heck, you know what? I'm probably going to be typing BMW a few times in the comments section. BMW Santa Maria, I appreciate you all. Let's get in now to the two biggest rumors that are going on on the round the Oakland Raiders today, Monday. Are the Raiders signing DJ Swearinger? This one's two Chucky heads. And people are talking. Now, before I get to the next guy, I will say that I want Swearinger more than the next player. However, DJ Swearinger, okay, he worked out for the Oakland Raiders on Monday. But if you remember, the Arizona Cardinals cut Swearinger in September after four games in which he struggled. Now, I know I rip on PFF a lot, but they allowed, or they have, Swearinger has allowing a passer rating of 145.3. That's not very good, okay? But then you also got to remember the Cardinals, they cut, or Cardinals, geez. He played for the Redskins. I'm losing my train of thought here. Cut by the Redskins also. But when I think about Swearinger, and I think about the upside that he could bring, and he does bring, I think, a lot of um, talent, and he, I think he could work into the defense. Swearinger, though, went from 2018, actually being one of the best cornerbacks, I'll say, or safeties in the NFL, to really, really struggling. And I don't know if it's so much to do with just Swearinger, or maybe so much as of a scheme fit. But there has been multiple, multiple rumors that the Raiders could be getting Jay Gruden next season. And Jay has worked with Swearinger and with uh, Washington. All I'm saying is if DJ wants to come over and spin some beats for the Oakland Raiders in silver and black, my man, you're more than welcome. So here's another player, though, that the Raiders worked out on Monday. It's Tristan DeCoud, formerly of the, the Dallas Cowboys. But are the Raiders potentially going to sign Tristan? I wish I could give it something else besides two Chucky heads because I don't like doing back-to-back -back people are talking. But guess what? It's my show, and uh, people, are, they're talking about it. So Ian Rappaport reported that Swearinger and DeCoud both visited with the Raiders and both were trying out for this team. We know that the Oakland Raiders need help in the secondary. And I'm actually excited the fact that they went out after struggling realistically three straight weeks against good quarterbacks. Now they're looking to add a little bit more depth. Now the one thing that I saw this week, and I've seen realistically those last three weeks, I don't really want to say that the Raiders' defense is super terrible, but I'll say the injuries are really starting to rack up, and Oakland needs to add more players to that secondary because, realistically, the first half of games, the Raiders, they're in control. And then the third quarter, the fourth quarter rolls around, and I think they get tired. So maybe if you can go out and get a player like Swearinger, maybe go out and get a player like DeKalb, where it can just add a little bit more depth to that defense so we don't get as tired, you could see them really kind of turn things around because the offense is full steam ahead. Josh Jacobs, heck, he's not even just running like the rookie of the year. He's running like, well, I was going to say the best running back in the NFL, but Chris McCaffrey's having one hell of a year. But the offense is chugging along. The defense needs to get it together so we can make the playoffs. So I talked about DeKalb, 
and I talked about Swearinger. So I want you guys to play GM, okay? Play GM. Who's better for the Raiders? Who would you go out and sign? I want you to type S for Swearinger, or I want you to type D for DeKalb. For me, I'm going to type my S. I want. I would much rather have Swearinger. I think he'd be a better fit. At age only 28, sure, 2019 was not his best year, but also considering the fact that in 2018, he was literally one of the best safeties. And I don't really think it happens that quick. I don't think he's having that big of a fall off because he is still only 28 years old. So for me, for everyone out there, I would like you guys to type your S for Swearinger. Now, before I go, I always appreciate the people who watch us all the way to the end, and I want you to help me welcome BMW one more time. So please type BMW in the comments section and make sure that you guys subscribe to the Oakland Raiders Report at youtube.com slash Raiders Report. If you made it this far to the video, I appreciate you. Make sure you guys subscribe by clicking this button here to the Oakland Raiders Report, the number one most watched Raiders show in the entire world. And also, if you're like, okay, I need more content. I need more videos. Well, why don't you watch my next video over here? And then why don't you watch my next video over here? Raider Nation, I love it. That one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby.